With schools shut down because of the coronavirus, teachers and students are learning how to adjust to learning from home. One Charlotte area charter school is working to make sure students see a teacher at least once a week to help keep them on track. Spectrum News reporter Katie Saul shows us how one classroom is going digital. We're going to start this morning with a math warm up. You guys ready to add some numbers? On a Wednesday at 9.30 in the morning, Jasmine Cox is checking in with her students. Six plus four equals. Instead of taking attendance in a classroom, she's watching as kids sign in to her video chat. I would have never guessed that there may have been a day where everything for every student would have been all online. A teacher at Aristotle Preparatory Academy, Jasmine is still holding class while schools are closed due to coronavirus. I became very overwhelmed because we were trying to figure out what systems or what things we had in place for them to continue learning every day. We didn't want there to be a lapse of time without them learning. Teachers started putting together weekly packets to be dropped off to students so they can work from home. But Jasmine took it a step further. Every Wednesday we dedicated to having a 930 call just to check in because it's the middle of the week. How's your assignments going? Any technical problems that they're having? In the weekly meeting, students can log in and go over things like addition. Two things they can solve six plus six, raise your hand. And reading. K-N in a word makes that mmm sound. Everyone say mmm. Normally I would have a big book in front of me, but with technology, it was really cool for me to model the book and go through and dissect what we were reading and comprehend what we were reading. But it also comes with some challenges as Jasmine and her students yeah. adjust to the digital learning. I am a face-to-face -face teacher. I love communicating with others because I'm teaching to my students' learning styles every day. So there are some kids who thrive in this territory. This is a learning curve for me as well to try to figure out how can I be the best educator that I can be every day to serve my students at whatever level or whatever state of mind that they're in. With plenty of assignments in hand and online, Jasmine is hopeful her students will make the most of their time out of the classroom as they wait for the doors to reopen. In Charlotte, Katie Soul, Spectrum News. It is all.